Good morning, everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening Canning Recipes. A little bit of everything. Got this pressure canner going already this morning. I got seven pints of chicken in there for that 365 challenge. But I want to show you something new and exciting about a new seed company. So Survival Garden Seeds reached out to us um, and they want us to test their seeds. We're pretty excited about this, guys. And so I did some research on them and I'm seeing that out of five stars, they get a little over four stars on their seeds. So these are the two collections they sent us. They sent us the Homesteader Collection and they sent us the Home Garden Selection. So the Home Garden Selection has 30 heirloom seed packets and the Homesteader has 50 heirloom seed packets. They are chemical free, non-hybrid, guaranteed to grow, and they are open pollinated. So we're gonna give these guys a shot and we're, we're gonna check them out and see how they do. Now I'm very excited to open these up and see what all we get. But one of the great things about this guys is yes, they're gonna let us be an affiliate, but not only that, for our community, they're gonna offer a 10% discount on uh, ordering these seeds. Now, the prices on these are very reasonable. It, it, as a matter of fact, extremely reasonable. So, we're going to open these up and we're going to see exactly what we got. And looking at the back of the pack, it says that uh, this collection contains 30 varieties. Now, we're going to open up the home garden one first. Uh, to grow in Bountiful Harvest, it says that if these are so stored properly, these remain viable for three to eight years. That's really great, guys, and this reusable package can be saved to store the seeds for future harvest. Um, they give you their email address, uh, non-GMO. So let's open this up and see what we get. I, mean, I, want, I want to get this where you can see it. And it came in the nick of time, guys, right when we're getting ready to start our spring seeds. Oh, wow, look. These come in really nice seed packets. So let's check and see what we got here. So this is the home garden. We have the Solyndra beets, Paris Island lettuce, Lola Rosa lettuce. These are going to be great, guys, because I'm getting ready to replant some lettuces. Parsley. This is always great for your cooking. A lacinato les kale. Ooh, I'm eager to try this because we usually grow the blue, uh, the blue leaf kale. And here's the golden acre cabbage. You guys know that I do grow uh, this. This is one of my favorite cabbages and deal so this will be going in the tower of power next we're going to open up this batch champion radishes this is great to plant this time of year butternut squash which we can plant in the fall swiss chard guys i got to replant some of my swiss chard Ooh. Look, an heirloom rainbow tomato mix. Now, this kind of is exciting. Yeah, this looks very interesting. Eager to see what these do. Roma tomatoes. Snowball turnips. I have some purple tops out there, but I still have time to go ahead and plant some more. Crimson sweet watermelon. Boy, that's a big seller. And black beauty zucchini, which you know we grow tons of every year. Really, this is a, a good mix. Next on our list is arugula. I did lose some of my arugula. It is coming back, some of it. Basil, I gotta get some of this started. Waltham broccoli, this is one of our favorites. Imper Imperator carrot. I'm gonna get ready to plant some of these here pretty quick. Little fingers carrots. National Pickling Cucumber. Never heard of the National Pickling, so I'll be eager to see how these do. And some cilantro, which is also can be a cool weather plant. So far, I'm uh, pretty impressed with their selection. And this is just on the home garden, guys. So let's look and see what we have here. Wildflowers, perennial. 
excited about this because we love to plant wildflowers to attract um, our pollinators. Black Beauty eggplant. Hearts of Gold melons. Ooh, this would be interesting. Emerald okra. Now you all know that I grew the heavy hitter, but I'm going to give this a shot this year too. California wonder pepper. This is a very popular pepper. Jalapenos. Oh yeah, the sugar, sugar pumpkins. These are great to grow. And then Vera Flay spinach. So that is in the home garden uh, survival seed pack. We're going to put these back up in here and uh, make sure that they are sealed up. We want to protect our seeds. So now let's move over to the Homesteader seed collection. Pretty impressed with their packaging. Don't want to work this morning. Oh wow. Holy mackerel guys. Soybeans. We've never grown soybeans, but it's not to see if we can't. Pretty eager to do some investigating on this and see what we can uh, come up with and what we need to do to maybe grow some of these. Gray zucchini. Never heard of that, but eager to try this. Watermelon, the moon and stars. This looks like a personal size watermelon. Greg will be excited about this. Here's the purple top turnips. Large red cherry tomatoes. Tomatoes, of course, are coming in, uh, coming into season. We'll be planting these before you know it. Love cherry tomatoes. They're very good in our salads. The brandy wine. Brandy wine tomatoes are very large. They remind me a lot of the mortgage lifter. Sugar snap peas, sugar pod. These, we can start to plant these here pretty quick. Tatsoi, that looks a little bit like bok choy. So I might start some of these and see what we get with these. Some more Swiss chard. Ooh, black Russian sunflower. We love to grow sunflowers out here and they do very well here in our heat and in Texas. White scallop summer squash. Now Pop's going to be excited about this one because he said that they used to grow a squash. He is German and his mother used to grow a white squash and he said that's all pretty much they ever ate. They never really ate the, the yellow crooked neck or the zucchini so he's going to be excited about this one. Spaghetti winter squash. More radishes. Provider beans. Ooh, chocolate beauty pepper. Greg would be excited about this one too. He loves to grow bell peppers. Oh, cayenne peppers. We can use this and we can freeze dry these in our harvest rot and uh, we can make our own pepper, so our own pepper flakes. Garlic chives. Ooh, that looks like something I might be doing here real soon. Yeah. More basil for the Tower of Power. More parsley for the Tower of Power. Onions, what grano. We do start our seeds from uh, our onions from seed and we do it in a baby tub and then we transplant. I'm excited about these. And the Walla Walla onions. I know a lot of people grow the Walla Walla onions. Here's some golden bantam sweet corn. We're going to give this another shot this year, guys, because we've, uh, we've struggled with growing corn, and I know that uh, Jason at Hetfield Country, he does very well. Jason, you may have to give me some tips. Here's a pollinator mix for flowers. This would be great to put around your garden to attract pollinators. We have some more okra. This is the Clemson Spineless, so we, we may have three varieties of okra this year, guys. Mustard grains. Ooh. I need to try to grow these. It says uh, start the seeds indoors six to eight weeks before last frost. So this is getting real close to putting these in the ground. Honey rock melon. More lettuces that I can start growing now. 
kohlrabi. Butter crunch is one of our favorite lettuces. We can go ahead and start these. And look at this, a garden blend kale. Looks like it has different varieties. This would be pretty exciting to try as well. Now this probably says so indoors four to six weeks early. Yeah, so we will be starting a lot of these guys and show you how they germinate. Now I know that the review said that uh, they germinated very well. And so we're gonna give them a, a big test and a shot here. Here is uh, some leeks, gourds. We love to grow gourds. Um, you can make little bird houses or little uh, uh, spoons like you can see. So we might put these on one of our fences out there along our fence line. Utah celery. May have to start planting some of this. Here's some snowy eggplant. Danvers carrots, which is one variety that we do grow. Early round Dutch cabbage, never grown this, so I'll be looking into this and checking it out. Ooh, royal burgundy bush beans. Those look beautiful and that looks interesting. Boy, how tasty those are, are probably gonna turn out to be. So yeah, a lot of these we'll be planting very soon. Here's some red acre cabbage. I'm, I'm gonna have to go ahead and start some of these. I love red cabbage. Russell sprouts. Russell sprouts are a long growing. It takes them a long time to grow, but you know what? I might just give these a shot. Lemon cucumber. Ooh, this might be something new to try. And if you guys have grown any of these, be sure and comment below and let me know. We have some cucumbers, some more broccoli. This is the Calabrese. The other one was the, um, oh, I can't think right now. Black eyed peas. I told Greg I wanted to grow some black eyed peas this year along with our purple holes. And we're probably going to grow these on the back acre because I want to get a mighty harvest of these. Shasta daisies. Daisies are one of my favorite flowers. I love all kinds of daisies, so I'm excited to get these. Detroit dark red beets. Guys, it's beet planting season right now if you want to get a harvest in before we get too hot. So we'll probably put some of these out. And uh, I can't tell you just how excited Greg's going to be about this. Because most of the seed companies, when we go to find this popcorn corn, they are sold out. Guess what? We'll be planting this for sure. I'm certain of it because he loves popcorn, and I know he wants to give this a shot. He'll be putting a lot of effort into this, believe me. Bloomsdale Longstanding Spinach. We're growing this uh, in our high tunnel right now. I'll plant some more of this. Ooh, watermelon radishes. Now, this would be interesting. I can't wait to see. Uh, what maybe these turn out because we could probably go ahead and put some of these in the high tunnel right now and we have the jack-o-lantern pumpkin we'll probably plant some of these on the back acre and we have the casper pumpkins this is a big seller here um, around halloween time so uh yeah looks like this homesteader pack is a pretty good pack now i'll tell you guys i think that this is retailing around 59 dollars and if you get 50 packs of seeds for 60 bucks, you are gonna save some serious money. This looks like it's gonna be a great value. So honestly, guys, I think that these look like they're gonna be a pretty good value um, with either of these that you go with. And again, they have um, other variety packs on their website. And uh, whenever you hit that link, I'm sure you'll find some other things that you're gonna find interesting. Uh, it looks like they had some medicinal packs and some herb packs, but uh, I think this is going to be a pretty good value. I don't know which one of these you may want, but um, I think either of them would do fine. It depends on how big your garden's going to be, and I can't wait to, to uh, get these, some of these planted now and see how they germinate and then get the other seeds, uh, the, the spring and the summer seeds going as soon as we're able to when uh, we feel safe about it and see what we get. And... Uh, even if you just want to buy these and put these on your shelf for on down the line, you know, that's a great idea. And these packs are just beautiful to me. It makes me want to get out there, guys, and start planting right away. So um, if you want to check these out with me, go ahead and get you some on order. Or if you want to wait to see um, how we do, of course, I understand that as well. And look at this. Love, love, love this. So uh, we do have some other seed companies that we do business with, but we're going to give these a, a really fair shake, and we're going to give these a shot and see, because I can't believe the pricing on these. Um, we normally pay about $2.95 to three fifty dollars a pack of seeds, depending on what we get, 
And uh, yeah, checking out these prices, these look to be very, very uh, competitive. In fact, a little bit lower and can save us some money. So thank you for joining me on uh, our little unboxing of this new seed company. We are very appreciative of them and we're thankful that they sought us out and uh, we're excited to give these seeds a shot. And if you decide to do it, uh, let me know and get leave me a comment if you have used them in the past. Also leave me a comment on that. And uh, again, we're gonna put the link in the description. It is an affiliate link, guys. We will receive a small commission, but you guys will also get 10% off. So uh, anyway, gotta get back to my canning here and get these things unloaded in about, oh, 15 minutes. Excited about this. I have some more 365 canning challenge uh, canning videos coming up. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you guys soon.